All right, so the plan is, since we only need one weapon, uh, not one weapon, we only need one sword for the hero sword, I'm gonna try to rock shovel, because shovel can give me the blueberry if I actually have any to, you know. And it can also be another form of, like, um, money. So yeah, so let's get banana as well, and that's all we'll get from this one. Okay, not bad. Um, we we'll definitely get shield. Shield and the whetstone here. I was hoping for a broom so we can get the shovel already, um, but we need the harder roll for shovel next round, for sure. I'm a, I'm a, no, I'm not gonna get that leather armor. I feel like it's too early, it's too much money, and uh, we need a shovel. So yeah, we should. Damn, twelve critical. You get destroyed. Okay, there goes our broom. There goes the space, and we can get walrus tusk. Great, very great actually. Very great. Let's put the sword down so that can combine. And we can move this up. Well, actually, no, that, that works. So that, that can combine. That's looking good. Looking damn good. Boom. Um, We should win this one because we have shovel and our DPS is pretty nice. Yeah, there we go. And we got another leather armor, so it really doesn't matter. Nice. And boom, we'll do that. We will also move this down by one for the conservation of space. And... I get the leather armor here actually now. I want that fanny pack as well. Um, I could put it up there like this. Not really gonna use the banana like that though, but I mean, that works. That works. Maybe we don't need the banana to get the leather armor as a form of like you know, survivability. We should beat this guy as well. There we go, there we go, there we go. Little more, little more. There we go. Nice. Thank you. And boom. I kind of do want to. I'll buy the pig. It's on sale. And we need money. Let's, yeah. Let's go ahead and get that hero sword. Reserve both of those. We need both. And this guy can just go for the pig for that money. Um, honestly, no. Let's sell that so we can actually get this as well. And. Stay. And. And um, put it up here for the shovel, like that. That's good. Or even like that. Ooh. Okay, that's good. That's good. That works. Versus double torch and a lot of food. He's got better healing than we do. And granted, yeah, now we got better DPS. Our DPS is good enough. I don't know if we have better DPS. Like oh, holy crap! Yeah, we definitely did not better DPS. Um, but that leather armor saved us. Okay. No. I got happy because of blueberry, but we're not going to need the blueberry yet. So not okay. Bad. Let's get the space. And roll. Roll. Acorn collar on sale. I'm gonna roll. Boom, roll. Okay. Decent. Decent, decent, decent. Not horrible. Decent, decent. Not the worst. I could have actually made that a little bit better. Oh. Hero long sword? What a hero sword. He's like, he's going for a cross blades. I hope you get it, bro. It's, it's really early to get that, too. It's only round six. Really early. I hope he gets it. Let's buy both of you. Roll. Roll number two. Yeah, I'll get that. No whiz content? Fuck no. Fuck. <laughs> no. No whiz content. Never. <laughs> Ever. Ever! Oh, an early blood therm. Oh, jeez. No timer dual cheese? I don't know what that means. <laughs> I don't know what that means, bro. Oh, we lost one. I just realized we were on a streak. There goes the goober, though. And our first hungry blade, which is good. We can... Actually, no. Let's keep the shovel. Because we can just combine here. And we're going to need that second form of DPS anyways. Yeah, let's keep the shovel. Um... Yeah, that's a work. Roll. Ooh, buddy. Oh, early and everything. Like Picasso. 
We can get this now. We can sell you for two, sell you for four. That's six. Let's do that. <gasps> now we don't have to buy a next round or something. Get a little bit more space. Um. Honestly, let's sell you, you, and the jewel to get this for the exact same. I told you it would work. Perfectly. Hmm. Perfectly perfect. Um, versus a spear, spike shield with leather armor. Although he doesn't have that mana torch yet. I feel like we got this. Oh, never mind. I take that back. I take that back. It's okay, though. It's okay. I take that back. But we got a freaking still goober now, which is great. Leaf, space, roll. Roll number two. Roll number three. Um, let's put you there. I can actually put you under the still Like so. And we can just turn it up. You can go up there. Um, damn, I do want to buy this shield of Aylor. We need mana orbs. I feel like now is the time to roll for mana orbs. Was that two? God damn it. I didn't. I wasn't looking. I was not looking. Alright, that'll work. Okay. Ugh. That's pretty nasty. I'm not gonna lie. Pretty disgusting. I don't know if we win this. Probably not. That bow and arrow is going to infinitely increase in DPS, just like our Hungry Blade is, but that's going to be faster. It's already at 19 to 32. Yeah. DPS is just crazy. It's okay, though. We got room to breathe, which is the important part. Ooh, another Hungry Blade. I say we get the second one. Oh, we needed that other shield of Valor for the activations. Anyways, let's definitely get that second one. Something. What if we did like double still boomers? Another time, another time. Let's roll, roll. Man, give me a mana. Okay. <laughs> Asking you shall receive, it says. Um. Okay, yeah. Sell you, get the mana orb. Should we get the mana thirst first or should we get the moon? Hard to get those five activations from just a shield and a banana. We're not gonna get enough mana generation to activate the, the orb, so we might as well try to get one of the other. I think getting the mana thirst is better versus getting the shield first. Because the shield is just gonna help us generate mana that we're not gonna be able to use. Because these aren't mana thirst or anything. But yeah, I think that's the better move right there. There's no point in selling that. Because we're already at two. That'll be good, though. Huh. Alright, three health. We got room to lose. Because we're definitely losing this one. Because that is a Spectre Dagger. A double Dagger. Your DPS is crazy. Oh, we activated it. Four to ten. Let's go. And activate again. Let's go. Six to twelve. I'm surprised we're still alive. Oh, and now we will die. <laughs> okay, though. We got room to breathe. Honestly, bro. Honestly, bro. I don't know. Nine. Too much money. Roll. Roll. Oh, okay. 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 Is 
is looking good. This is looking good. Um. What would be the best move here? Should we combine? Will we be able to generate enough mana? You know what? I'm gonna actually move this down here until we get like more mana stuff. I feel like it's better down here. And we have three options. First option is we don't combine. And we just hope that we generate enough mana for this to activate. But the only thing generating it mana is the mana thirst itself. And then um, the sword is activating. Plus it's still a guru, but mainly just the sword is activating, right? Then we can also depend on maybe a little bit on this 20%. But still, it's not a lot. That's the first option. Second option is we combine it with the mana thirst. Right? Second option. And then third is shield of Valor. In combination for the moon shield. Which might not be bad, because the moon shield is going to help us uh, generate more mana. But only when we get shield. And the only thing that's giving us shield is the steel guru. It's not like we have a vampiric shield already. Oh, this is a 50% chance now. I thought it was a 33. It used to be a 33. It's literally a 50% chance that... Uh, okay. Okay, I can do that. Huh. Oh, it was a 66? I thought it was a 33. So where was the 66? Combine? You say combine? I think I combine with mana thirst. Because then they're both going to be generating mana. Which can help with survivability with that 12 mana gain. I think that's the best move. And then we already got the jewels. He loses. That's a fat boy. Um, but yeah, we already got the jewels to increase healing. Which will help us with survivability. So I think... Ooh, it actually activated right there. We still lose, but still it actually activated. Okay. Here's yeah. armor. Good. Get this for mana generation. And we got another shield. Let's reserve that shield. Also get that. Okay. I'm so glad it's on sale. Oh my god. Okay. 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 Um. You go there. You go there. That can go there. That can go there. Where should I put it here? Which one's gonna activate more? No, I can't put it there because it has to touch the, the shield. Uh, so, yeah. Okay. Boom. That works. Um. Mana orb luck right now. Facts. This is not looking bad, though. It, if we survive, we're, we're goaded. If we survive, we are absolutely goaded. All we need to do is survive right now. This next round. That's it. Okay. Let's do this. Let's do this. What am I going against? Oh no. Okay. Oh no. Oh no. That's a fencing rapier. And a crit build. DPS on a fencing rapier is really good. That's my biggest concern. He's also increasing the damage his, his uh, ripshaw blade is going to do. Okay. 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 Believe in yourself. Okay. We're gonna have to rely heavily on the healing of those mana first. Put this on a point four. Started with 45 shield. Okay. Already did a 20 crit to us. Shield is gone. Pretty much. But we're getting shield from um, the Goobert. And our DPS is increasing with the Goober too, which is really good. 
I think his Goober activates way uh, faster than ours, though. He's got four activations on his Goober. We only have three. However, we got the healing from the man. Oh, we have the orb. Orb proc. Orb proc. W. Okay. So far, so good. So far, so good. His Fencing Raper does scale, though. It does scale. In oh, huge critical right there. Huge critical. Beautiful. We're about to steal life. 36 crit. We're about to steal life in a minute, though. Oh, my God. Hold up. Hold up. Hold up. Come on. Come on. Okay. Oh, my God. No, no, no. Stop critting. Please stop critting. We need another, we need another orb proc. Orb proc. Orb proc 33. There we go. Let's go. That orb proc was clutch. Huge clutch. Oh. Nice. Okay, this is looking great. This is looking great. That's a big, huge, that was a huge round. Huge. Yes, orb proc was amazing right there. Orb proc was phenomenal. We needed that. We healed from that and everything. Um, probably because this. Because it uses 30. What is that? 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. Which is 6, right? So we heal for 30. So we pretty much heal for 30 plus the increase in healing from all the jewels. Orb proc W. Absolute W. We don't need to that. So we can buy this shield, which is the plan. But we need more vampiric armors. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. We need more vampiric armors. Um, but this is going to activate more, though, I believe. But we definitely need more vampiric armors. Wait, wait, wait. Because what I want to do, realistically, is do this. This is what I want to do. That's what I want to do. And on this side, we have, like, another vampiric armor. Um, or a moon shield. Let's buy this. I'm going to buy it. I'm going to buy it. But I still need to rely on that for its uh, DPS. Or activation, rather. So, that's why that's there. We could use this as an activation as well. I just realized that. That would count as a form of activating. Only well, is it? yeah. The only problem is it's not touching the vampiric armor for the other 30% increase. I could do this, but then this isn't going to be acting as an activation, which is bad. So I think this is the better thing to do, because then we get that activation. We also get that activation, which is good. And it is also helping the Goober uh, gain even more armor, which is good. So yeah, I think that's good. Let's get you. Let's roll. So we need another mana orb. And we also need another armor to turn into a vampiric armor. Versus a poison build. Okay. We might do very well here because of our cleansing that we get. And our healing, which is just great right now. <laughs> 66 poison on this. Incredible. Roll. We need that. Let's... Actually, no. You guys don't mind. Let's do that. Roll. Roll. We don't need another armor, I don't think. I don't think we need three. Roll. Yes! Yes! Okay. I'm actually not going to combine here. Just to get the, the byproduct of having an orb. I'm not going to combine. But once I see another orb, I combine. That's the plan. That is the plan. I also want to increase the DPS or the speed of this mana first slightly. Yeah. Bet. Bet. That's the plan. All right. Woo! That's orb look all day. We got four of them so far. Four of them. Oh, this is what we were doing. <laughs> This dude's doing what we were doing. Look at the new and improved, my friend. You gotta upgrade, bro. You gotta upgrade. Now you know. Now you know how good it can be. You're welcome. <laughs> now you know. Look at this. It's doing great. Right. I appreciate it. Oh my god, we're taking a lot of damage. Oh my god, it still did great though. But Jesus, it's because of the mana thirst, man. Forty-eight to fifty. We were doing 37, and that was just 11 to 13. 
I don't even know how you increased in damage. How did you even increase in damage? What makes you increase damage? Don't you do like 5 to 7 or something like that? How did you get to 11 to 13? Oh. Empowerment. Brain. Brain. Brain fart moment. Brain fart moment, bro. Let's buy you. We'll have them combined. We can sell you and buy you. I need more mana thirst. Just... You're literally just pulling for mana thirst. Infinite mana thirst. Or vampiric armor would work, too. Um, I could even go for a Gloves of Haste here. To be honest, that might not be a bad play. And I could, like, boom. Make both of them faster. Roll! Beautiful. I get it now, though. Oh, I don't need it now, because I don't have a leather armor anyway, so it doesn't matter if I get it now. I can't combine it with anything. Unless I combine it with the gloves, but I want another vampiric armor, so yeah. Boom. That's looking great. That's looking <sighs> Versus a crit. Why do, you, why do you have this? You're not gaining any armor from it, so you're not gonna gain the mana from it. I don't understand. His orbs did proc like crazy, though, right there. It did have double mana um, potions, though. It's just not enough. It, it'll never be enough. <laughs> just what it is. Thank you. Um, boom, let's get you. Don't combine with this. Honestly, it doesn't matter if we move. Um, that's good. Do we need another? No, we don't. Okay, we're good on fanny packs. Kinda. I'll get more. Yes. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Good enough. Give me a leather armor, actually. That's what I need right now. Yeah, I need a leather armor. Can you give me one of those? Nope. That's fine. Ooh. Ooh. I didn't even think about the topazes. We could put the topazes on the vampiric armors. And then just, like, dedicate the rubies to the shields. And dedicate, like, topazes to the, the armor so they can proc faster. So instead of, like, every three seconds, I guess ideally would be, like, every, what? One second, right? That's a very confined build you have there. Triple immunity with the mana thirst and the magic stab. Plus the vampiric armor and moon, uh, moon shield combination, of course. But I think ours is just better. Like, <laughs> eh, that's what it looked like for me. Proc again. Let's go. Let's go. And we're going to get another proc. It don't even matter. Because you're dead. You're dead. <laughs> good game. Good game. Hmm. How many we got left? Three? Okay. I want, I want this. Um, this is what I'm gonna do. We're switching to this now. We're switching to that. And moving both of these up. We're actually not better. Oh no. Hold up. Hold up. Um. I'm gonna move this sideways. We're moving the entire thing sideways. <laughs> the entire thing's gonna move sideways. Okay, so. Move it here. Like that. And then we can triple, triple. Crit doesn't matter. So we'll just do that for these. No, 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 no. Yes. Okay, we'll do that. Back. Do that, and. Boom, boom. No. This actually is better. Boom, boom. Boom, boom. These go here. Vampiric armor in the middle. Like <laughs> that. Big old dingling. <laughs> and. Yeah, we could put those on the side like that. Make it like just faster. Where would we put the other vampiric armor? Do we even need a third vampiric armor at this point? We'll just go down here. 
spot. This might be enough activations, though. I'm thinking every time we gain that 10 shield, I'm thinking that counts as an activation. That's my that's my hopes, at least. It's my hopes that counts as an activation. Because if it does, this gains 20 shield. So this activates twice. And this activates twice. Every three seconds, both of these activate twice. And we're making it faster. Faster, faster, so... Yeah. And it's getting, what, 60% more shield, so it might even... Well, it won't be 40, but it might be 30. Then it activates three times. Every three seconds. So that's six activations every three seconds. So this procs every three seconds. And if it gets faster, like every one second, this will proc every one second. And every one second, these weapons will increase like damage. It's better than a mana thirst. Right? So we can put that on there, move that over, sell you, and you can go there. Just to make it faster. Um, you can go there. Roll, roll, roll. Oh, there we go, the leather armor. I don't think I'm gonna need it though. I feel like I should just WP Gloves of Haste. And I just make the, the Gloves of Haste uh, situation. Or Vampiric Glove, rather. This sounds kind of OP. <laughs> it really is. I could even, like, actually, I was gonna say maybe go bow and arrow. Just so you can get another form of activation. But bows and arrows don't um, benefit from mana. Now, if they make a bow and arrow that's a mana bow and arrow, then they fucked up. <laughs> then they have fucked up. Because that would be extremely overpowered. Extremely overpowered. That would be one hell of an item. Truly. Let's roll here. Ah, that's good. Let's see how well we do against this. It's actually a really good build. Actually, a really good build. He's got the mana generation for. He's gonna. Oh no, he might kill us. We have to rely on healing here. Spectre dagger. Attacks health directly, so our shield doesn't matter. Our shield literally doesn't matter. Because he's going to be attacking our health directly. So the only thing we can rely on here is healing. We have to out-heal his damage from our items. Look at that damage he's doing to our health. I mean, it didn't matter. But still, crazy, right? That's like the kryptonite of this build. Roll. Um. It's not good. Go there. This can go here. That's fine. Roll. And another one. I could. Yeah, let's sell you actually. Just to get that and roll some more. Ooh. 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 Okay. Um, I'm gonna put you guys. Let's make this a little neat. Let's make it look good. Let's make it look good. Okay. It looks beautiful. Aesthetically pleasing versus a poison beast with 320 armor. Oh, that's destroying our armor and shield. There we go. We coming back. We coming back. We coming back and he's dead. He's dead. I don't even know what killed him because we didn't break his armor. And we don't attack... Oh, we do! 50% chance to hit uh, health directly. I wonder if we can do that on our, um, on the steel life. Like, once you steal the life, is there a chance you will hit their life directly instead of the shield? I wonder. Unless that actually bypasses that. Like, every time you steal life, you literally steal their life. You don't hit the shield at all. You literally steal life. The kryptonite was too damn weak. It really was. But yeah, if you literally just steal their life and you don't hit the shield... Crazy. Crazy. Because that looks like what just happened. Wow. He died fast. He died fast. Alright, what are you what are you gonna give me game? Okay, um can't do no combinations here. I I I could buy a cap of resilience. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Just to put more health. Stealing, amplification. 
Um. I don't get the space. I kind of do need it. I would like to get another, uh, vampiric gloves. That's what I really want. <laughs> it's so symmetric. Uh, I'll buy you. Fine. I'm not gonna buy that, though. It doesn't matter. Okay. That's fine. Oh, I mean, we could do that. Make that faster. I want to see what the speed on that is, actually. All right, let's roll. Here we go. Here we go. Ooh, look at that. Ooh, that's going to be a lot of armor. A lot of armor. A lot of poison combined with the Dark Saber, which uh, increases damage from debuffs. Double Glowing Crown. He doesn't have any mana generation except that blueberries, so these probably won't proc. Both of them won't proc. One maybe. One maybe. Definitely not both of them. He's also got this 30% more on the shield. Um, he's going to gain regeneration because of the holy items. Um, and it's going to be a lot of shield, too. Alright, okay. Alright, let's see this battle unfold. Definitely starts with a lot more armor than we do. That poison is going to be crazy, though. Already at 37. Probably going to be at like 90 poison. Maybe even 100. Oh, never mind. There goes the cleanse of poison. Already cleansed. What was it? 37 to 28? Cleansed like 9 poison right there. And we're not done yet. Definitely not done. 100% not done. Let that orb go off again. Especially since we got double orbs. Any minute now. Oh, there we go. There we go. We're from, 20, we're from 37 to 21, I think. Oh, that's a lot of damage, though. 62 damage? That's a critical from the Dark Saber, I'm pretty sure. 70? Oh, that's a lot of damage. Hold up. Hold up now. Proc. Get my health back. Get my shield back. Almost at 20. Get a little bit more health right there as well. How much damage is this guy doing? 35 to 40 DPS. And now he's out of stamina. He's not going to get more poison. So his poison days are pretty much over, which means that we're just going to keep cleansing the poison. Which means the DPS on this guy is going to get lower. He's also out of stamina. The battle's over. The battle is over, bro. We outlived him, and now we're just infinitely scaling. Good game. Is it infinitely scaling among, like, everything? Your DPS and your mana thirst are infinitely scaling. You infinitely get buffs from the mana orbs, so that's going to be infinitely scaling. Health, speed, DPS, all that. It's just going to keep going up and up and up and up and up. 